Do, 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 do you guys hear that? I, I don't I don't know where it's coming from. I, I don't hear it. What are you talking about? I think I hear it. It sounds like it's coming from the corner. Eddie, no! Hey, guys! So hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Boys Lunch Table Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about some stories we heard. Some about spirits, some about ghosts. But one thing that we have to talk about first is, um, we had our good friend uh, Paul Gano and his Pill Talk podcast invite two of our members, Kenny and Kalichi. And yeah. basically they're, they're going to have an episode released uh, on the 27th of June, which is already um, passed when we report yes. this episode. But um... What we're trying to say is that you guys should probably check him out when we're not listening to our podcast, you know? It, it's good to provide, um, like, like to listen to uh, another podcast once in a while as well, you know? Like, comment, and subscribe on exactly. us, and then go do it for him. Yeah, go on us tell, first. Tell, tell him the lunch mate sent you. <laughs> there he is. He's, he's a good guy. He, he'll know what that means. He's a good guy, but subscribe to us first, and then subscribe to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. No, pa- Paul's, a, Paul's a really cool dude. I've been checking out his stuff, like... Oh man, like definitely worth checking out. Yeah, he's an amazing comedian. Yeah, yeah it's, good, it's good to support. It's good to support the community as well. Of course, we're getting at. I'm a yeah. pretty cool guy. Oh nice yeah. On. So anyway, let's on. start with this episode, okay, guys? So as <laughs> like I mentioned no, before, no one refuted. <laughs> so, anyways, so like I mentioned before, we're gonna be talking about uh, some ghost stories, some spooky ghost stories. It's like Halloween in July. Like and, Halloween uh, school. I don't think we record him. <laughs> in uh october so we didn't unfortunately nah. but, but yeah we're we talking about some ghosts so my first question for you guys is do you guys believe in ghosts that's yes not really. i do or at least i want to believe oh i believe for the most part i i believe like some like super paranormal things happen as like pe- people see some stuff but i myself haven't seen anything but i'm not going to take the chances to go out of my way and look for something I mean, yeah. I would definitely go to my way to look for something. Yeah, I'm. I'm more. Of, I'm. I'm more of the opinion where it's like I'm. I'm on the same boat as you, Kalichi, But I want to like prove that they're real. Like I. I, I want to. I want to kind of. I want to kind of. What's the word? Like I want to believe, so I want to see them. You know what I'm talking about? Like yeah, exactly. For me, I, I, I believe as well. But the only thing is like. I don't want to poke the bear if you know what I mean. Like, That's what I'm saying. I, oh, I want to. I want to poke, like... poke the bear right until he comes out of his den. Because I, I want to be possessed. I don't think. I want to poke the bear. Then I want to stab the bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, want, I want the bear running towards me. You know what I'm attention. He wants to piss off the bear and take its baby cubs. All all I'm saying. All I'm saying is that. If ghosts exist, then I will take the fall. I, I I'll be the guy that gets offed in order to get the proof. You know, most likely it's me, Kalichi, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's get started. Um, Kalichi, do you want to go first with your ghost story? I'm doing the ghost of Queen Mary in Long Beach, California. Uh, yeah, I, I got that. I good. I, I, good. I love. I yeah, love that. Yeah. I good. I good. So yeah. apparently, yeah, yeah. oh. Less than a Long Beach, <clears throat> it's just the Queen Mary. It's, it's a big boat. It's like, like imagine the, 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 imagine the Titanic. I'm a a little smaller, but it's like a, it's a luxury boat. Understand? You go on a cruise, you have a good time, everyone happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah and it yeah. was it was act, it was constructed between 1930 and 34, and it was active until I think 60 to 1967. All that time. See, it was a pretty active boat. But during that activity, a lot of people died on the boat. Well, that's not good for business. Are you talking yeah, about like natural causes and stuff, or you mean like? No, off? it was some, some, it was some weird deaths because they had um, what's the word? Like maintenance crew, like they had two maintenance guys, and they died getting crushed between a door. They both died the same way, on the same oh. boat. Oh. Like, it, it was what? called, um, well, they called it Door 13, but at least two men died 
being crushed somebody, between that door. Somebody should fix that door. <coughs> they, 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 <laughs> yeah, they got to replace the door, man. Oh man. One with an eighteen, one with an eighteen-year-old um, crewmate, and they say that after his death, people still see him walking along the deck, just walking around with his. I think the blue coverall and sported beard, sporting a beard. They just see a young man walking around the boat. That's not, that's not the only thing. They people have, have spotted. Say they've seen. They have, there were a bunch of pools on the on the cruise, and it's not being acted no more, so no one uses it. But people are often hearing splashes in the pool, like young women laughing, and they've seen people wearing 1930s style swimsuits, which is odd in like the in the 60s and the 90s. Which it shouldn't be there. Yeah, right. right. And if all the spotted people, the spotted footsteps, you know, when you get out of the pool and you walk around, you got the, you leave a trail of water on your feet. They see yeah. that when you walk around. I've heard, and I've also seen a little girl clutching a teddy bear. So they oh. see a lot of ghosts running up and down the the decks. The are they are they like open about it? Like like is it a tourist thing or is this something that like you only know about from like? You know, like insider knowledge. You know, um, I believe the tourist thing now because Alec was telling me that they made a what was it? A theme park, right? Yeah, yeah. The Queen. I think it's called the Queen Mary's Revenge. I think it, it's like so you know how um, there's like Canada's uh, Halloween haunt, and then in Universal Orlando they have the Halloween Horror Nights. Well, over there they actually make the boat a like basically their version of Halloween haunt and there's mazes you can go through. So yeah, there's that. Well, I mean, today it's listed as a national register. It's listed as, not, as, a, as a historic place. It's, it's listed right. in America. So you can right. come in. It's like a, the salons, restaurants, shops, exhibits. It's like, a, it's a tourist attraction. Like, yeah, it's, it's a tourist attraction. That's cool. <laughs> Have you guys like, you, you ever heard like people categorizing ghosts? Like, oh, this is the a class. Yeah. 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 So are any of these like, I don't know. Class? I, yeah. I honestly doubt it considering that it's a tourist attraction and people come there. I mean, I doubt it goes to more active during the day and at nighttime, but the most they've seen is people walking around and using the pool. So I don't think it's fairly harmless. It's not like anyone that's died on the ship is like, I'm going to get my revenge. The more mad at the damn ship killing them, you know, the door kill two people <laughs> the the door is is actually um who who everyone's getting revenge on yeah <laughs> like every night the door slams because they're they're actually just angry at it <laughs> it's crazy because the door is like in the i want to say basement but like the bottom part room? It's, it's in the engine room of the, like the lower deck the, yeah, yeah lower down lower deck and they started blocking it up thought let's stop it letting people go through i mean it was too late because the other guy died but, before the, but after then it starts it stopped letting people go through hmm. did they fix the door? the door like yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> the door? or did they just block it off i hope so the room's infamous door 13 that's cool. to, to this at day, least the door is still taking at least <laughs> at least <laughs> there's there possibly more <laughs> But at least two. The two they I only, counted for. They only got caught two times. Exactly. They're, they're, like Daniel there's said, other people, there's other people that have thrown people off the off the bow of the ship that have just died in the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, honestly, like like Daniel said, like they're keeping that door active just so they can harness more ghosts. Like that's how it's gonna yeah. be. Yeah. Um, some yeah, you gotta keep it touristy, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some crazy number that um. Many say that the top people say there are many of the 150 known lurking spirits upon the ship. So, what? yeah, yeah. So, I mean, a couple That's got be the, a couple got be door 13 victims, a couple got be a swimming pool. They said that some people drowned, they also kind of doubt it because you're drowning in a swimming pool. But that's where no. those, um, like I said before, they saw people in a swimming pool splashing around. That's sick. I said that there's, um, what was it? It's been a site for at least 49 reported deaths. Wow. Holy. And, and, and this thing is still active, huh? No, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it, it, it doesn't, it's dark, it's dark, yeah. But people, I mean, active, then people come in and out. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's um, it's attract visitors every year. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's looked as a historic place now. Okay. That's, so that's kinda, cool. Kinda coming. I mean, that's I think people cool. like to have the little idea of, like, oh, it's a little haunted. So they hop in. Yeah. 
I'd love to visit that. I, I'd love to visit it. That'd be yeah, sick. I mean, I feel like if you want to get a full experience, you got to go at nighttime. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 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 Easy. Maybe splash around with the 1930s woman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, stand, stand behind uh, door 13, you know what I'm saying? It's all <laughs> I, I want to get a picture with door 13. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when Daniel stands by, beside the door, right as we click the picture, it just crushes. <laughs> <laughs> Another victim. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You you just hear my 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 disembodied voice. Can confirm ghosts are real. <laughs> Dana become, <laughs> become one of the 150 known ghosts. <laughs> yeah, Dana, yeah. Dana goes into the ghost realm and he sees the other ghosts and the ghosts are just looking at him like, Sup, see, we told you. It's like, <laughs> They're like door 13? Yeah. He's like, yeah, we're here too. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's, it's, in, no, it's not in Scott. It first came on Scott, but like I said, but like it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool place. It's yeah, not like other places. Like it could, I mean, it's dark now, but it could move around. So like, you could, it could haunt, it could be haunting worldwide. Well, not right. now, but. <laughs> Ghost on the move. <laughs> Ghost on the move. <laughs> but yeah, that's um Queen Mary in Long Beach. Cool. All right, cool. so I guess I'll go next. So the one I'll be doing my ghost story on is the uh, Rolling Hills Asylum in New York on the other side of the border. <laughs> Why do Dang. why do I feel like you guys should have gone farther to last? It sounds like your places are like actually scary. <laughs> I, thought you, I, I thought you guys had scarier things. I thought mine was pretty basic. Yeah, like, you, what's, you what's, had like a hundred and fifty ghosts. Yeah, on your my, my, mine's not that many. Since <laughs> yeah. well, like, yeah, this is a an insane asylum. I guess well, I'm out. Okay. I guess I'm out doing Kalichi then, because I think there's around seventeen hundred people that died. Bruh. Ooh. I mean. You're in an asylum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get into I, it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt. But yeah, continue. Um, so basically, some background on this asylum. B before it used to be asylum, it used to be a, a poor house, basically, and it was built on a January or sorry, it was open January first, eighteen twenty-seven, and basically, a poor house is a government-run um house, and basically, where they put people who did they, they believe the government believed that they they didn't deserve financial aid. And just threw them in these houses, basically. And um, this meant like there was people like orphans, poor families, uh, criminals even. And they even kept people who were mentally ill, those who were disabled. And uh, even those who were elderly as well. So Dang. basically, um, the there's a number of spirits that are there, but I'm going to go and just talk about four of them. Because they are good ones and they are bad ones as well. Like, See, that's that's what I'm interested in. I like interested the, in the thing Daniel said, like the classification, like the like calf with a friendly ghost type ghost, and then the, oh, that's one. That's a rank one. That's a rank zero. Rank one <laughs> runaway. <laughs> that's a rank zero. He's a friendly ghost. There's that, and then the, who, who's a scary ghost? Uh, what do you think of me? Annabelle. That's not a there ghost. you go. Sure. Probably like yeah, sure. nine, nine or something. Yeah. Yeah, so basically there are good the rest good spirits and there are bad spirits as well. So I'm gonna go into them. The first one is a, a ghost named Emma who who was a nurse there actually at the asylum, and she often appears when pe people call for help. And can what was the name again? Emma. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, Emma. Continue, and uh, continue. basically she appears when people call for help. So if people are visiting and they get scared, they'd be like, "Help! Help!" And then basically she appears, but she's a friendly ghost, so it's not like she does anything to them. And if she's not helping, she can be usually be seen in her room. Whoa. Like, yeah, so that's pretty cool. They see um, her like vividly in her room? Like you can see, apparently people said that you can see her walking around in her room. That's if if nobody's calling for help. Like if she believes someone doesn't need help, then she'll be there. Oh, she'll be chilling in her room, okay. Yeah, so it, chances are if you don't see her there, she'll be helping something or someone. Oh, that's nice. So maybe like another spear or like, yeah, you know. That's Wait, what was her what, what what was her job? Was she like a nurse or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, she was, was a nurse. And she, it looks like she pretty much liked her job because she's still doing it after life, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, gotta love what you what do, and you'll never work a day in your afterlife. What a yeah. spirit. Ah. Yeah, but he, here's the weird thing. Um, the room next to her house is a guy named Steve, and not Harrington, by the way. Steve <laughs> the Hair Harrington. Unfortunately, not. And basically, um, it, it was unknown to what he was, but it is said that he's a spirit that is uh, not so nice, let's just say. Um, in Buzz, 
BuzzFeed um, is a YouTube channel and also like an organization who does um, ghost tours and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure Alec has seen a couple of videos as well because he's into this type of stuff. I like I like spirits. Uh, yeah, um, basically in BuzzFeed's video, you can like which I recommend you guys watch. Actually, you can you can hear him the spirit of Steve talk through a voice box, in which he oh, says, "Oh, that's sick." Yeah, it, like he basically says a one or one or like is there one or the other like you, you can either hear him say is there a doctor which is which makes sense because it is on the side of it. Some, yeah right right and it's either is there a doctor or it can also be interpreted as yo you are an actor <laughs> so, I, 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 got, I got chills when you said is there a doctor wow yeah dude and and just be- imagine just being there and then like just hearing that going oh no, I I went to business school, but <laughs> wait. But here's the thing: when he says you're an act, you're an actor, it makes sense because when they're filming it, like when they're filming these videos, Busty's videos, they always use like a big studio camera. Oh, true. Oh, I see. So it makes sense. That it's like it, it, just, it just gives you chills, you know, like you are an actor, or you are, or is there a doctor? How old Either is, way, how old is Asylum? Like it's, I'm assuming it's like just decommissioned now. It's well, like empty. But how old is it? Like back in it, how one of the made and one of the actors. It was, it was opened as a poor house, in the eighteen twenty seven, so like, oh, and then God. eventually, eventually converted it into an asylum. Yeah, that's much, old. It went it went to a, a poor house to asylum to a nursing home, but it closed. So, wait, so what's it now? Is it just it's it's it, empty? No, it's retired from nineteen seventy four. Retired. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but but people like they do tours and stuff because the owner yeah, bought yeah. it and converted yeah, like it my, basically. Just like the boat one, there's people coming in now. Exactly, mm. yeah. Um, so where was I? So yeah, like that's one creepy like a creepy voice box, and there's more evidence as we go through my story as well. So the next uh the next spirit, which is an, another not good spirit, is her name was Phoebe White, and she was actually the first inmate that lived there in the asylum. And she lived basically her whole life there from 1938 to 1978, where she passed away. And um, she do? like, what was her crime? I, I to be honest, I I don't know. But um, it turns out her one of her relatives died too the same way. Like he was imprisoned and died in prison as well. Mm. Um. Oof. So like she's be said to be uh, roaming around the property as a bad spirit. Mm. Who often screams and shrieks and slams the doors of the asylum as well? Cool, that's cool. Yeah, I, I like I like it when 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 in the story it's like they're actually doing like intimidating things. You know, like yeah. they're active, not just like yeah. Show. It's not like oh you can see them sometimes. Yeah. It's like no, I want I want them to like do something, slam a window shut or something. Yeah, exactly. Um, even in Buzzfeed's video, another thing I want to mention, like. You know how you hear ghost stories and imagine like eerie vibes, like the wind, the wind slamming stuff, the windows, you can hear the wind going through the room and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like they went through the winter so you can actually hear that. So it actually makes it pretty creepy as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, so like in this, in the story, you can't hear, like you can't hear like small noises, but you can hear like the big ones pretty much. Um, nice. Another ghost, which is the fourth and last one, the main ghost I'll be talking about. He's actually a nice one. He could have been an NBA player, but um, it was too early for that, you know? His name was uh, Roy Roy Kraus, and he was seven foot five. Oh, oh damn! And like, he's like, boy. he's literally a tall giant who's like another spirit, and um, yeah, he's supposed to be really friendly. So he he likes helping. He likes helping people. That's nice. So like, no, he that... likes helping people reach the top shelf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, yeah, even if you go into your his room, you can see this like giant bed. Two. Oh, he had a custom made bed for him? Yeah, it was like eight feet. Well, long. if you're seven foot, you'd have to. Yeah, you'd have to. <laughs> um, Wait, why was he in the asylum then? I guess he was, he was too poor. Tall. I guess he was, oh, I, he was yeah, one of the poor right. ones. So, oh, so wait, wait. Um, Cynric, sorry. Maybe, like, yeah, maybe I just missed it, but, uh, and excuse my, like, harsh, harsh terms if I, you know, say this incorrectly, but when you say asylum, uh, we're not talking, like, like, insane asylum or, like, what, what kind of, like, it was diseased people, I'm pretty sure. Oh, like, 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 diseased a, like a... And me- diseased and mentally ill. Okay, okay, okay. So like, I must have you, I missed that. One thing you have to keep in mind is that this used to be a poor house. So yeah, like yeah, I, I know. People would be there as well. Yeah, yeah, I think I just missed, like, uh, when you said it was converted to an asylum, I just want to know, like, what type of asylum it was. 
Yeah. So yeah. What right, right. asylums are there? Well, just like, like, I don't know. Be, it like a jail. It don't have to be essentially for like. Like. Oh, well, usually, people. usually. Isn't an asylum like in and of itself where you would keep patients? Like a like a so mental institution. It's like for um, recovery, isn't it? Something that you can self check in and self check out of. Yeah. Mm, it depends because sometimes they send the inmates there as well who are mentally ill. Yeah, 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 but, but like it's it's more for people. isn't it for like recovery? Yeah, it's a, it was intended, but back then it wasn't for for recovery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically, uh, yeah. So like he apparently he, can, he sometimes roams with people like people who are visiting and stuff. Um, the owner had a situation where, like, she saw a rat and she like shrieked and says like there's a rat and some and like basically to her friend, and then while they're trying to follow the rat to like try to kill it. It went upstairs, and apparently, from what they saw, they found they found the pool of blood in the shape of the rat, and they found a footprint on blood on the wall, and like a hand mark of a blood on the wall. So they oh. believe they believe that Roy actually killed the mouse for them. What a you nice guy! Watch it. You're gonna what get a nice guy. legend, legend ghost rats. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, like in Busby's video, you can also see some of like the the blood because they didn't clean up; they just left it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep the vibes. Yeah, there you yeah. Go. it's not their job, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Get ready um, for it. <laughs> so basically, yeah. the yeah, like the asylum officially closed in 1974, where it was converted into like the nursing home for a little bit. But it has like a, a over a, a thousand seven hundred um documented deaths inside the haunted building. But the current owners right now predict that there could be at least three times more of deaths. So we. Due to what like undocumented deaths right? yeah, like undocumented deaths due to the uh, sketchy and spotty paperwork pretty much was it like what, what was so bad that happened there was it like the 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 nurses and doctors that um like it was like a corrupted system that they did something with the patients or was it just natural like daniel said before? it sort of sounds like they brought people there against their will i think they like, killed each other well like if they're all mentally i like, think i think what happened some of them are natural some are because they're, they're poor they can't afford a proper burial too oh i see so, I, I keep forgetting them. there's also diseases from like from 1927 as well like plagues and stuff like that uh, yeah um, it was in the 1800s right yeah Initially. 1827 yeah that's a long time ago and that's when yeah yeah and they have multiple issues with, like diseases because they don't have pro like even think about it this way since it's a poor house, they probably wouldn't be giving med like many good um, medical attention to them, anyways. Yeah, oh, true. For shelter. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, so they died like that. They died pretty much. Like it could have been, like induced deaths as well, depending. Um. Yeah. Well, you never well, like, know. It's a, it's a lot of deaths. They they could they could have got creative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, not to mention the fact that many of the documented cases also that they, that they um, say they couldn't find and they, some of them they did find there's no evidence of their graves as an actual cemetery register or even on the map like, there's no ma like none of the maps ha show the cemetery on the property as well so they don't know where they're buried as well they're so that's why the, that's why the predictions are high um, yeah in the tour that BuzzFeed did as well the Rolling Hills Asylum they, and the, they set up a static camera as well as motion detectors in some rooms. And on, on one of the rooms, you can't see it, but you can hear next door. And you can hear like multiple things move in the audio clips, like as like such as chairs and stuff. You can literally hear them move. And apparently like it's not an uncommon thing as well on the property. So you're about to say something? No, I, I went ooh, like oh, spooky. Okay. Ooh, Spooky. It's it's and, it's way too spooky for me. Uh, actually, that's a lie. I would love to go there. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Like e even as they go through the building, they go into Roy's room. You know, the giant. Damn. And um, when the when they when they turn on the audio box, they hear a female say, "Can't stay," which is pretty Whoa. creepy. Well, that's cool. But that's cool. Said, like as soon as they as soon as they say that, I guess you. I guess you might hear what is Roy actually after that, because you hear a male say "cold winter" and it is winter outside, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, oh. he said "cold winter," and then he asks for their names. What did they the give it to him? Well, the, the the clip cut after that, so that either they got they got spooked or maybe they did. It, it, it's just, I don't know. They they cut it after that clip. Pretty much. Man. Um, hey. They even set up a room in something called a Christmas room. 
which is basically where they had like Santa during Christmas time, and it was like a, to- a-, a room full of toys as well. What the heck? Like, so, so what? Children, so children often used to play in it, and they used a device which was actually kind of smart of them. They put like they put like a, a device that t- detects uh, static energy. I think it's an EMF reader, from what I'm mistaken. I, I might be mistaken. Mm-hmm. Um, so they put it in like the head of a dog toy, and like the dog toy standing up. So they would like try to entice the children, and be like, um, they'd be like, "Look, guys, it's a friendly dog. He doesn't bite anything." They showed them how to pet it, and every time you like they put like their hand in ear like the dog, it would detect it, like and release like, a noise and a blue light. And um, that's once, sick. Once they left the room, and they went like into another area of the building. The static camera detected like the light. The light went off, and the noise went off as if like somebody was petting the dog. Oh man! Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's sick. What do you mean? That's it was the, it, it was that injured rat that freaking <laughs> Roy tried to get rid of. He's like, please help me. <laughs> Roy's, yeah, but... Roy's like, oh dang, I missed this one. <laughs> yeah, but he, like on, on the video, you, you can see the video as well. But like, there's nothing. You, you don't see anything there. But you can wow. you can see the you can see the reader going off though. That's cool. And yeah, there's also one last thing I want to talk about, which is the shadow hallway, which is the spookiest part apparently. The shadow Ooh. realm? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna take you to the shadow Gee, realm, Jim. You're joking about that, but like, basically, it's, it's a hallway that leads to an infirmary, right? And okay. like, on the way to the hallway, <laughs> the, the owner believes there's like a portal, a portal, which I don't agree with. That's probably fake. But like, there's a portal where like shadow people come to, like, come and leave. What shadow <laughs> You know, like, there's, there's, <laughs> pictures, there's a picture of this place where you literally see shadows, like shadows of people. Like it, it can be like dark gray, pitch black sometimes as they as they uh, they take pictures of, mm-hmm. but it's actually pretty creepy. And Dang! Basically, you can see the shadow people come in and out of doorways. You can see them walk across hallways and even stick their body parts into the hallway from the doorway. It's like that their arm or their leg. kind of sus. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But like in some instances, they are even seen to be crawling on the floor, and sometimes the crawling ones like crawl fast towards you. Oh gosh, that oh, that that actually sends a shiver down my spine right there. <laughs> Wait, yeah, so this... it, it's it's literally just a shadow, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But yeah, it's pretty spooky. I'll put some pictures on like the screen in our YouTube video, nice. and you'll, you'll you'll see. Yeah, sorry, see Spotify. Sure. You gotta <laughs> Spotify. You, you gotta get Listen. good. Spotify gotta listen to the whole thing and then go to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, they gotta listen to the whole thing. Get the full experience on YouTube. <laughs> Damn. And yeah, so Daniel, uh, what story do you have for us today? Oh, oh man, mine. It's it's not a haunted boat with a hundred and fifty unconfirmed deaths. It it isn't an insane asylum with with thousands of people kept against their will. It's a uh, it's a pub in London. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my place is called the Old Queen's Head Pub. So, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I actually tried to find out why it was called the Old Queen's Head. I I couldn't find it. I, oh, I was like, is, is it talking about like a head of you, you know, like beer has a head? Oh well, yeah, sure. yeah. I thought maybe it was that, or like maybe it was in reference to like. I don't know. Did the <laughs> queen's head get cut off or something? Wait, I was kind of thinking right? that. What? Is it England, right? It yeah yeah it's in London. Okay, okay. Well yeah anyway so j- just just b- before I start I, I I looked it up. This place has four point three stars on Google. What? Yeah. Dang. Oh, apparently it's got sure. good food. Guys, we gotta go. Boys trip. Come on. Honestly, if you're listening, go check them. If you're in London, go check them out in Islington, man. We're not so, sponsored, uh, by the way. No, yeah. but, no. you know, if I'm I in mean, London, we can be. Email us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah if, if you want to sponsor us with your spooky dollars, that's cool. <laughs> spooky dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this place, um, originally, there was another pub on this land. So... In the 16th century, there was this guy named Sir Walter Raleigh. That's R-A-L-E-I-G-H. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But uh, he, this guy actually was, like, doing all kinds of stuff. 
He, he was a soldier, a spy, a poet, a writer. Um, he owned a pub. I'm a like, jack of all trades. <laughs> literally, <laughs> and, and you know the crazy. You know El Dorado, like the movie. The, the, the hidden city, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so he was um, looking for the city of El Dorado at one point, I think, according to my Wikipedia search, and. Um, so he and his group apparently like ransacked some Spanish outpost or something, and the Spanish were like, "Yo, we got a tr we got a peace treaty, dude. What? Why'd you do that?" And he was like, "I don't know. Do what I want." So he went back, <laughs> and uh, they're like, "Look, man, the Spanish are mad at us. So to appease them, we gotta execute you." And he was like, "Oh, okay." So they executed him, and so that's how he died. And eventually. Dang. His pub, which apparently was like endorsed by Queen Elizabeth or something. This this story is literally, it, it's crazy. So it, it gets wiped and this new pub is put on it. And now there's three ghosts. And, uh, what? I mean, I mean, I, I actually looked into it. I was like, where did the other two ghosts come from? And I couldn't find anything. <laughs> <laughs> they don't show <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I assume he invited, like, he invited them. He probably showed them in the afterlife. He's like, no, let's come back on the pub together. The other two ghosts were like, the other two ghosts were like, oh yes, finally a pub. Let's go. Uh, they were just um, there to drink. They were just there to drink. It's his um friends from the military. They're like, oh, you died. I was like, let's come together. <laughs> like, yeah. come let's out come out back your, for one pub. more drink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is man. there like a is there is there a type of drink that is a ghost in the name? Uh, oh, boy. insert Probably. joke about uh, spirits here. Why did a ghost go into the bar? I don't know why did he. For the booze. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is here. I love that funny. Sorry. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> oh, oh, spirits! Okay, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, everyone, calm down. This is. This is a scary story. Okay? This is Daniel time. Shut, 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 shut. Alec, you're so cool. Okay. So, so uh, apparently the staff say when they're opening or closing, they sometimes see uh, Sir Walter like standing there and, and he's like dressed in formal clothing and he looks like a really distinguished guy. And apparently he'll like wave his hand and disappear. Which is Whoa. like people Magician. think he's yeah he's he well I told you he was a poet spy soldier he does it all magic man you know all kinds of things wait 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 Dale sorry, sorry to interrupt I was gonna ask um at what time do they see is there like a scheduled time as when like people report seeing him like it's like closing and, time no like it, it's opening time or closing time so I guess when there's not a lot of people around oh I see okay sometimes the staff see him it, it didn't say that patrons have seen him or anything but maybe uh, oh yeah the uh, he he seems to be like chill like he doesn't do anything bad per se he's just kind of looking over the spot where his pub used to be um Isn't the same he, land? <laughs> yeah same land he, he's like yeah, he's man just, this, he's this, this kind of pub. an upgrade <laughs> what kitty I said, he's just managing his pub. He's just making sure it's in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, like, he come, you, you guys doing good. I feel like he comes back to the pub and go like, wait a minute. What the hell they do to my pub? <laughs> <laughs> you tore down my, my, my swifty pub? And <laughs> this, this other swifty pub here? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, right. that's really cool. Yeah, so continue, my guy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Um, the next ghost is the ghost of a little girl. Now, I, I immediately was like, dang, did he have any, like, daughters or something that died prematurely? Because that would be, like, sick. Because, honestly, for this, I had to get, I had to do most of my own research. Like, it, sh it, it, it the site I was looking at gave me, like, some bullet points. And then I had to, like, go and supplement it myself. Mm. Apparently, he didn't have anyone related to him that was, like, a little girl that died. So, it, I don't know who she, who she is. Whoa. So, she... She's she's usually sweet. Apparently, she like runs up and down the stairs of the pubs, pubs. Well, sure, pubs because there was two. Um, really? She runs up and down the stairs sometimes, and she like giggles and stuff. But oh. 
she's she's not a, she's not a class one guys she 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 throws temper tantrums apparently like like a little kid does where she'll go and she'll start like breaking glasses and slamming doors and stuff whoa is there like, is there whoa. is there something that like induces that or is it just like however she feels i was wondering that and you know i think think that it's like because she seems when she's running up and down the stairs she's like trying to lead servers and stuff apparently so oh. i think maybe i mean i don't uh, you maybe don't believe in ghosts or anything but like in context of this theory about the haunted pub if she doesn't like get her way and they don't follow her she gets like all upset and starts like going around making mischief and stuff oh Does that, that is mean somebody's sick. job is to follow her here, <laughs> They're like, look, Terry, you're just here. When the little girl shows up, just just walk around. Just just do what she wants. She's gonna break more of our fine china. <laughs> you just ordered a minute to follow the ghost. <laughs> no, on, honestly, my guy, that is uh, that, that that actually when you were telling me that, like that actually kind of raised some hair on my arm. Like that's actually kind of cool. It's like it, it plays in with the whole thing of like you know, like like a child should be. Like they they want attention, so it's like almost like when you're not giving it to her it's like yeah okay i'm gonna start messing around with stuff i feel like if you don't order the special that day she's like well that's it <laughs> she's just, she's she's just like, like you nah. shouldn't have done this the, the mushroom the mushroom soup on mondays is the bomb <laughs> <laughs> oh I man think, you know what it kind of reminds me of did you guys play luigi's mansion like the original i was just gonna say i was just gonna bring this up you know, you know, like the baby, like he's all chill and he's just yes! a ghost baby. And then Luigi like deliberately like attacks him. And then the baby's like, no, you. It's kind of like that. <laughs> he pulls a Uno reverse on him. <laughs> then he My takes God. him to the shadow realm. Just like, yeah. just, like uh, in the asylum. The, he brings him over to that, uh, the one that Cynric was talking about. Yeah. The, the, the crib. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, so there, there's one more ghost, and uh, it doesn't seem to be anybody. Again, I don't know if they were related to Sir Walter or to this girl, for a matter of fact. But, Alec, you mentioned, like, oh, does uh, Sir Walter appear at a certain time? Uh, this, this woman doesn't appear at a certain time, but she appears apparently the first Sunday of every month. Oh. So I, I took to the internet, and I was like, well, why? So, apparently, uh, in the Bible, uh, the first Sunday is, well, the first, first day of the, of the week, apparently, is when Jesus rose or so, is something. I, I read it. And according to, like, the Hebrews at the time, they considered Sunday to be the first day of the week. So, if this woman was Catholic or Protestant, which at the time, those were probably the two religions she could have been. Right. Um, if she was religious, it would make sense that she would appear the first Sunday of every month. Oh, that damn my God. You did some bare research. Also that would, it would make sense to you. Cause I, I'm guessing around that area as well as it's probably a high likelihood. She would be one of those. Yeah. That that's what I was, I was thinking. Cause I'm like, it's, it's kind of suspicious. And, and you know, I was wondering maybe if it had to, something to do with the restaurant schedule too. But I, I don't know. It just feels unlikely because, you know, the pub got, like, torn down and a new one put up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe so, she has a connection to the new one. Uh, I'm, she, I doubt it, but... she Apparently she wears clothing that you would have seen back in, like, Sir Walter's time. Uh, so I, I assume that she's an older ghost. For the little girl, I'm not actually sure, though. She could be more modern. I don't know how many people died there. <laughs> <laughs> Three, Dang. I guess. And some rats, yeah, probably. Sounds of it. Dang. Maybe they, maybe they were killed with kindness and good service. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. The, the mushroom soup was too good. The mushroom soup was too good. <laughs> or it was too bad and they died. <laughs> <laughs> no. What are you talking about? 4.8. Three stars on Google. Come on, no. Google reviews. Come go. on, man. Yeah, yeah, but that's a new pub. pub. That's a yeah, that's new pub. Yeah. yeah. Mushroom oh, soup. That's right. You guys, you guys are right. The old pub didn't have four point three stars on Google. <laughs> but they're they're, it, it, they're 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 establishing their reputation here. That's what it's about. Yeah. 
So this yeah. woman, um, apparently she will just walk through, like, the dining room area. And this one's interesting because apparently staff and customers have seen her. And she'll, like, walk through and then just kind of disappear. And that's her Sunday stroll, I guess. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. That is actually... I love all three of those ghosts. Those are, those are awesome. Yeah, that, I thought I thought that was this. Daniel, yeah, what would you rank these ghosts in terms of levels? I would say that Sir Walter's probably going to be like... I mean, he doesn't do anything, right? But I, I am aware that he kind of... He died by being executed and stuff. So I feel like if you, like messed up his pub maybe he could do some damage he has the potential of of growing mm. yeah i'm thinking maybe like a three four i'd say the okay. girl m might be a five or a six because she's actually damaging stuff. yeah and the woman's probably like a one or two because she just walks around she was, she was yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I don't know i think it's sick i'm gonna go there one day when I'm in London, I'm going to hit him up. I'm going to be like, give me your jalapeno poppers and show me the ghosts. Give me your, give me your mushroom soup special. Yeah. <laughs> I need to see. I need to die with pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. So, yeah, that's, oh. that's, my, that's my spooky dookie story pub. for you. Nice. The, the, the spooky pub. Ooh. Nice. Well, you know... If you're, let me, let, let me tell you something, guys. You know, when you went to go visit the boat, go into the asylum, you know, having a nice food and drink at the pub, you might want to come down to maybe a hotel to rest afterwards. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, like, after, after I meet those lady spirits, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, you, you, uh, you, you, you I'm know going to I'm... show them to the hotel where they can rest and I will go to my own room because I'm a civil person. <laughs> You you know exactly. you know Dano you know what's good my guy also I worship you my lad uh, you know what I'm saying no friends <laughs> <laughs> here we go so so, so yeah I so <laughs> oh my god I just I actually just lost where I was <laughs> yeah, yeah so anyways um so my segment um I'm gonna be talking about uh. Good old Canada, uh, down in Alberta, um, a hotel. Alberta's a pretty spooky place. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, the name, no it's, it's the name itself. The name itself. Oh yeah, Kenny, his specialty. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, my, my this is this is what's known as uh, this hotel is called the uh, uh, Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. It's it's one of Canada's like most luxurious uh, and like probably well known uh, hotels in like. All of Canada, um, built in 1888, it's housed like uh, many like celebrities and guests over its uh, you know years. Um, it's just kind of like a staple of Canadian history at this point. Like it's just one of those buildings that like I I, I don't want to like measure it up to the Parliament building, but like you know it, it's just kind of like it's like that for Alberta. It's kind of like one of those special places. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, so yeah. Um, it's uh, got a beautiful, you know, landscape. It's near. It's near the Rockies. Uh, trees lined up. It's actually like from the outside. It's beautiful and inside. Um, to to hop on the rating train, like Daniel, it's actually got a four point seven rating on Google. You know what I'm saying? It, what? Did yeah, you know it, Daniel's story. Hide in the How pub. How are you gonna? Do me like that. Oh, I'm sorry, my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, but it's 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 um it's just a well-established hotel. But, but, that's uh, uh beside. Uh, don't be fooled by its beauty because it houses it's Canada's most haunted areas in in all of Canada. All right. Okay. So, uh, there are about in its in its course of existence, there has been uh several like hauntings and kind of like situations that have happened there that have led up to the hauntings specifically deaths as you'd probably guess um so um uh yeah so i'll start there's about there's three most famous spirits that reside there and i'll kind of give like a brief like really small like history as to why um you know they're there um and also first before i begin this is not a knock at the hotel like this is actually like the hotel is awesome like these are just like this is like kind of like what the guests and the staff has have reported there so okay so I'll start with, there's a happy ghost. There's a, like a good one. There's a sad ghost, which is a different 
kind of she doesn't it's a girl she doesn't do anything but it's kind of like i kind of classify her as like a sad type of story like a and and then there's i i would say maybe a class 10 and i'll get i'll get to why that that's there or, For okay a class 10 i would count like like gozer from ghostbusters oh. as like a class 10. oh okay uh Maybe like a class eight, class seven, maybe. Class uh, Alex, seven, like, eight? Alex, like, oh, with that being said, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, uh, nine point seven. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. With that being said, I'm gonna say nine point eight, 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 eight. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I'll start with I'll start with the happy one. So the famous ghost named Sam the Bellman at uh, this hotel. So his name is Sam. And Sam, his real name was Sam Macaulay. Uh, he was a Scottish, uh, Scottish man at the time. Uh, he was one of the head bellmen uh, residing at the hotel. Um, he passed away in 1975. Either I think just of natural causes. I'm not exactly sure. Like I, I didn't, I couldn't find exactly how he died. But um, yeah, I think he passed away at the hotel. But don't quote me at, he was on that. Thirteen um, strikes back. There we go. That's the, oh, it's solved. <laughs> so, you gotta so, be careful that door, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, um, people have reported that this ghost, kind of like what Sinric was saying in his, he offers his services. He loved his job. He was known as like one of the most cheeriest men at this hotel. And um, Wait, who was he? Uh, he was a, one of the the uh, the head bellmen. Like so, the guys who like bring up the um. You know the luggages and all those stuff like that. The one with the caps. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, was a boy I'll take my luggage when I arrive. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? There, there. D- don't quote me on this, but there was one instance of a person reporting that uh, asking to bring their luggage up, and um, some some bell bellboy was like, I guess busy at the time, or I guess the call didn't go through. And by the time the real one came up, the luggage was up at their their door. Anyways, but that's not the that's right. not the real that's not the real story. So, um, Did they tip the ghost at least. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, they pay, paid him in ghost bucks. You know what I'm saying? It, it was oh. it was like Home Alone too. They gave him some gum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice nice family, really. <laughs> like, <laughs> like so, yeah. So, um, the, you'll find this ghost at the hotel. He resides heavily on the sixth, seventh, and ninth floor of the hotel. Is where he's. You'll if you ever go there. Stay on one of those floors, you'll most likely see him. Um, and he's kind of like the mid-active ghost in this in this place. Like between the other two, he's kind of like the middle ground that you'll you'll kind of see him if you'll kind of not like 50-50. So his one encounter was two elderly women were staying at the hotel one day, and um, their key their their key wasn't working to open the door. Um, so they called the front desk to say, um, yeah, we, we're kind of locked out. We need, we need to, you know, get in. And the bell man at the time was like, okay, I'll, I'll be there in 15 minutes. I was, I'm a bit preoccupied, but I'll, I'll be there. So the women were like, yeah, okay, well, we'll wait. No problem. 15 minutes. Um, time passes and the bell man comes upstairs and sees that the door is open and the women are standing there going, uh, like, they're, they're, they're already, like, you know, heading in. And the bellman stops and then goes, uh, how'd you guys get in? Uh, and they say, oh, yeah, a man, uh, um, you know, an elderly man dressed in bla- in a black jacket and, a, you know, a cap uniform. Uh, he opened the door for us. Uh, he, doesn't he work here, right? Uh, an elderly uh, kind of Scottish man. And the guy kind of went a little bit pale and he's like, that we don't have anybody working there at this time like like there's nobody at this hotel that what you're describing like i i know everybody here so the thing with this ghost is that he presents himself as if you wouldn't tell he's a ghost so it's it's like as if like you're being helped by someone who actually works there but it's a spirit so that's that's his Sorry, thing he said he was, he said he was dressed in black it's a well. I, I don't know if it's black, but just a a, a uniform, like a like a hotel uniform. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah sorry, my just imagine this scenario, okay? So ghost hunters go to the place and they're like, "Yo, we're gonna find this guy." Guy dressed in black comes up to them. He's like, "Hey, c- come up to this room, room <laughs> floor thirteen. And they're like, "Wait a second, you're not a concierge." And they <laughs> rip his mask off, and it's door thirteen. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then just before they can make, just before they can think, he just rams them in the wall. Wait, he wait, takes wait, them wait. out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. They, they take off his mask, and it's actually a uh, Will Smith that dresses the guy in Men in Black. You know? No. <laughs> and Will right before Smith as as Agent. Wait, what? What? What was his agent name? Agent W. It's Agent S. It was. Yeah. Oh. So then, yeah. right. Right before he, he uses this flash his flash device on them to forget everything. His neuralizer. He says, "Where my daddy?" And then he does it. <laughs> oh <laughs> god! That, that, oh. That's a that's a Men in Black three reference right there. There we and go. Then, bud. By the way, Will, Will Smith, you know, uh, just, just hit me up if you want to go mini putt sometime. Just so, you know, <laughs> adding him to the list, stuff, baby boy. Uh, yeah, I'll meet up with me, Will Ferrell, you know, Dan Aykroyd, and everyone will be there. Oh, Ice Cube will be there. Oh, guys, Cube. Ice Cube will be there. <laughs> Oh Tom Hanks. God. We got Tom Ice. Ed. We got Tom Hanks. We got Will Ferrell. We got you. Everyone, everyone. come. Just, just let us know. Paul Blart will be there. Blart. He's being oh, security for obvious reasons. So. Yeah, oh, 100 yeah. percent to protect us from Door 13. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, guys. Um. So this. Yeah, he's a nice spirit. Um. He usually offers his services like any way he can. If you if like you ever like encounter him. Um. People say that like they've reported like you know like see him walking around like like you know pu pushing things. Uh, the stories sometimes get embellished, but the there there is that con that one stapled story where like you can see him. Uh, and he's just, he looks like a regular person, but he's just, he's not real. Like, he's not, like, um, alive. Um, so anyways, that's him. Really, like, really great. I, I consider him maybe a, like, definitely a class one or, I don't, he's, like, just does nothing, you know. But nonetheless, really cool. So, next spirit, kind of a, kind of a, the, mo apparently, uh, the, st uh, guests say that she's the most active spirit at this hotel. Um, she's known as the spirit called the bride. Um, and so the story is in the 1920s, um, a man, uh, and a wife were getting married at the Fairmont band hotel. Um, and it was a beautiful, like, you know, it was a magical day. And what happened was as the, the, the wife was walking down one of the marble staircases in her gown, um, there's two, in, there's two types of stories. People say she, uh, her heel caught her dress and she slipped and and she fell and like fell to her basically she died falling down the stairs um mm. uh I, I don't know if she like hit her head and like kind of cracked it or i don't know what happened or another instance uh some people say that um uh the, the candles that lined the staircase caught her dress on fire and she tried to like put it out and obviously like in her panic she fell e either way like they don't really know how she died but basically she fell down the stairs and died that's that's kind of like the thing um and what happened was staff and guests have reported seeing her in two places um and it's kind of a sad story so one one place you'll see her uh, in like as if as being the most active ghost um she'll be seen walking up and down the same stairs she fell down from um you'll see like people have reported seeing a woman in a wedding dress with uh, with her veil covering her face um kind of yearning and going up and down the staircase um and and the creepier thing is that uh, uh other guests have reported hearing singing and kind of also kind of crying in a way i i, I guess just yearning she you can see, reported seeing her in her wedding dress dancing in the ballroom yearning for the first dance for her husband she never got Ooh, that that makes me a little uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. So that was a sad one. She, I, I don't think she's a threatening ghost. I think it's just more of like, Depression. I don't know if anyone's actually like walked up the stairs as she's coming down. Like she just looks at you and go, "Hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm walking here." It's like, <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Have you ever played the game at Dead of Night? No. Um, I watched it, videos on it. We're in the hotel, right? Yeah, yeah, and, and um. Uh, you hear that um, all the it's almost like like it's almost like a movie but it's also a video game at the same time yeah yeah and you have to like connect with a bunch of ghosts that were murdered there yeah dude them. it's such a good it, it's such a good game I, I like uh, what's it called um, the the killer uh, what's his name J uh, Jack or uh, I, the, he's like an axe building yeah. guy he's like well, trying he to find you while he's, you're like in the hotel he's, he's got like a ball oh yeah the bat yeah, he almost looks like a clown, like me. Yeah, kind of. 
<laughs> so, um, anyways, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna get to the threatening ghost, and this is actually the most interesting. So, here's here's the the famous story of the Fairmont Banff Hotel, what's known as Room Eight Seven Three. So this is the this is the story. Decades ago, um, actually, and I, sh I should say this to begin with, um, when you go there, and if you ever ask the front desk, room 873, apparently, uh, sorry for calling anybody out who works there, um, uh, it, they'll deny that that room exists. Um, they, it's been actually told to staff, and actually, apparently, I've, on, I've done some research on the internet, um, they're, they're trying to, like, hide this. Like, like it, it's basically like, it's almost like a scripted. They're not really, they don't want, like, they're trying to deny that there's, there's an existence of this room, right? But it does exist. So here's the story. Decades ago, um, a murder suicide happened in room 873. Um, a, a, a father who, I don't know if he had some sort of psychological problem or I don't know what reason, but was on a vacation with his wife and his daughter and killed both of them in the room and then ended up i guess i don't know out of distraught of what he's done killed himself in the room and uh after investigation uh and you know so that happened and um they ended up like still using the room afterwards after like you know you, you know getting getting rid of everything you know making sure and, and you know the uh, like um you know cleaning it getting the police involved and they the the hotel apparently like th this is just what i'm reading on the internet um when they felt like it was safe to do so it's like okay we, we still have this room obviously this is terrible that happened but we'll we'll still use it right obviously thinking that there's no supernatural thing that's gonna happen yeah. so the creepy thing that happens was so after they after they continued using that room apparently guests who were scheduled for the for that night to stay in the room they were awakened in the middle of the night to disembodied screams as if like a woman was standing next to you right at your bed like uh, like we're talking like a blood curdling screech right like right at like right in front of you um mm. leaving guests to jump out of their bed in complete like like disarray and fear and um what would happen was uh they they hear a woman screaming wake up and panic when the lights would turn on apparently there's been reports of the walls being splattered with blood and the i think where the murder took place when you go to the bathroom there's a handprints of uh, like a handprint of blood like splattered all across the mirror and um what happened was two things two things happened after that when guests try to call the front desk at, uh, in panic and like for help um every time a maid would come up and and you know after hearing there's blood everywhere obviously they'd bring something to clean it um the blood and uh, on the mirror and the walls would disappear before they would even get there or uh staff have reported them seeing it trying to clean it and it coming back every time they try to wipe it off. Yeah, no, um, I, I was going to be like, oh, yeah, it disappeared, right? Yeah, right, like yeah. It. Yeah, it was, it, it, it's it's almost as if it's not, it won't come off. So this this happened a few times. And then after a while, the, the hotel started going like, okay, this is, there's been too many like panics and too many things that are happening in this room. And I think they saw that this room is having really a really bad like rep so what they did was they actually closed off the room they boarded it up um so that no further incidents like this would ever happen um they and they actually like they legit boarded it up put fresh drywall on top match the wallpaper and so it when you go there you, you there is no room 873 if you if you if you have no idea about this story it's it's so well hidden but not hidden enough um people to like to prove that it does exist um and that uh leading to the whole theory as to why would they cover this up why would they you know cover it um when you go to that floor people have uh so sorry the way they the way they construct the hotel right is that there's a light on before every door in front of the hotel right so like room like 373 there's like a light in front of it so down on the eighth floor, which 873 resides in, um, 
there's lights in front of each door as you go down the hallway. But on one section, there's a light, but there's no door. It's just a wall. And if you tap along the wall, um, it's actually hollow at that specific section. So there is a room in there, right? And you could also notice that the baseboard has been cut in a weird way. So it's almost like puzzle piece fit there. Um, so yeah. Um, Bro, that, that's some Legend of Zelda type stuff. If yeah. I come back and I throw a couple, couple of bombs at it from my bomb bag, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna find a piece of heart. Agree. And it's like, you're gonna get arrested. Yeah, maybe and, I'll get arrested. And, and apparently, the, the, the floor itself, because it, because then it was like, like, we're like, I'm doing right now, like, um, because it kept being asked for, they actually kind of, I think, if I read it correctly, they actually blocked any way of getting to that area of the hallway. So you can't actually, like, like, there's no way you're getting near it, which is, uh, you know kind of thing and yeah if you ask the front desk they deny it and stuff but yeah so um sorry i, I i'm not i'm not trying to like uh, uh expose a fairmont thing but it, it's just a, it's just a really one of the creepy things that happened there so i i want to go visit there i actually legit want to stay it's got a 4.7 star rating Four i'm i'm ready you know point like, seven. yeah my my guy i I, I say we take a boy trip and spend a night at the hotel. We, I think we'd, we, we'd at least still, still see Sam the Bellman and the Bride. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm pretty oh. sure it's got some bomb. Not mushroom soup, but Eggs Benedict. <laughs> you know, I love Eggs Benedict. Like, it's oh, yeah. actually super good. Oh, yeah. But uh, that's my story. I think uh, that just leaves Axeman. Yeah, it does. Wait, Kenny, you're alive? Kenny the yeah. ghost murderer <laughs> all right I, i'll tell like my story oh i like i like stories my mine is the the, the dakota apartment building in, in new york Ooh. wow so new york's it, a spooky place two places so far <laughs> new york is a spooky place it had it, it 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 held some of the rich and famous people like john lennon from oh, oh i already oh, like nice. him yeah, he's he's actually claimed to see a ghost there, to see a crying lady roaming the halls. No way. Yeah. Not only that, is when he was assassinated, it was outside of that building in December eighth, nineteen uh, nineteen eighty, and it was that like, building. Are you yeah, serious? And, and his wife has claimed that he he has still seen him there at the at the piano, saying, yeah. "Don't don't be afraid, I am still with you." Whoa! Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So wait, you're, you're saying, saying that John Lennon's ghost is at this place? Yeah, that's what people. That's what his. That is what his wife has claimed. That he sees his ghost. Yo, Yoko yeah. knows things, man. Yeah, so those are those are the two ghosts. They're not. They're not scary, but they, they seem pretty like. You know? So wait, you're saying that the, the place. Wait, did you say where John Lennon was murdered? Yeah, we're assassinated. He, 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 he was assassinated outside of the building, like just oh. outside. Bruh, bro. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. So you mean to tell me that we have. Scary ghost where hundreds of people died uh, on on a boat. We 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 in door thirteen. We have asylum where thousands of people died. We have uh, the the murderer guy who who there's blood in the room and killed the wife and kid. And, and now we have John away. Lennon's ghost. And I picked a pub. <laughs> <laughs> we also we also got the crying lady ghost. Who just I can't find any information on her. It's all about John Lennon, but he. That she's also been seen roaming the halls. I think because um, no one cared about a crying, crying no. lady. No, poor John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> really, John Lennon's here. They're like yeah, they're him by the piano. They're like they're like uh, they see the crying lady. Ooh, also they see John Lennon. Oh, John Lennon! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they see the crying lady. They're like, can you take a picture of us? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, John's like right here, love. Yeah. <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. cry. <laughs> The apartment building is still open today. Wow, that's sick. It actually has a 4.4 stars on Google. Oh! You guys are killing me. No, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, well, you know what? My place has mushroom soup. Oh, yeah. 100%. Probably. I, I didn't actually I, check. I will order that, even if they don't have it there. I will force <laughs> order. <laughs> we'll order off menu. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get the ghost girl to like bring us a special off the menu. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> yeah, nice. Nice on. Nice it is on. a nice on. So I did some research too, and Kalichi's place is also better with 4.4. 4.4 on the glue. I'm really? literally gonna make you guys ghosts soon. And <laughs> myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dano, Dano brings out door 13 and uses it as a weapon. <laughs> no, I, I, I remove my mask and I reveal I was door 13 this whole Oh time. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Was that, was that it, Kenny? Yeah, there's not like like I said, there's not much on on it. Oh, I like, oh, talked about oh. John Lennon. What more do you want? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah sure, what, sure, what sure. Oh my gosh! Dang, well, that was a, that was a nice spooky song. hour. Yeah, yeah, it was Very a pretty spooky, spooky hour. Green. So, who wants to and become was... ghosts right now? <laughs> I yeah, thought that Kalichi to... already was. Yeah, oh, Kalichi is and Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the murderer, not the ghost. You, you, you're, you're ghost murderer. Oh, yeah, okay. You are the ghost. <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's wrap it up. But one last thing we want to mention again: uh, the Pillow Talk podcast, which oh, yeah. uh, Kalichi, our gumball himself, and Kenny, our other gumball, which will be on it. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. So please check it out, guys. Um, and yeah, we'll be back for one more episode, our last one of the season, next month. Let's go. Guess who's hosting right. it? It's me, because I'm the right. best. Thank you. The king himself. <laughs> <laughs>